Welcome to the Ohio Agnet Podcast. I'm Matt Reese. I'm the editor for Ohio's Country Journal. Uh, joined today by the fantastic and amazing uh, Joe Penarwood with Ohio Agnet. And we are very honored to welcome the director of the Ohio Department of Agriculture, Brian Baldridge. Thanks, director, for being with us today. Good, good morning, Joel and Matt. Good. Great to be with you. <laughs> so first off, I want to I want to brag a little bit. My wife and family got me these fancy earbud things so i have joined the uh modern times with these uh fancy their their beats their their earbud beats thingies that connect with bluetooth to my computer i'm very very high tech today matt you're so with it (laughs) you're so cool that's what i thought i I thought i was with it (laughs) Um, joe's got his airpods in i'm the only one i'm the one left out <laughs> uh, so, uh, Joel and Director, did you guys have uh, have a good holiday break? It's good to be back uh, up and running here, but it's always nice to take a little time around the holidays. How was your holiday? Oh, it was great on my end. Obviously, a three and a half year old grandbaby, and then two little grandbabies, a little girl, three little girls under under a year on the other two, and just an exciting time. So it was great for Laura and I to uh, be part of that and just see the. The joy and the Christmas spirit, and uh, in, in in their eyes and in their excitement, so it was fun. Well, Joel and I each have one, young ones. Are they uh, are they into the tearing off the wrapping paper phase? Is that are they fired up about doing that with the presents? My my one year old is not necessarily into wrapping paper all that much. He really likes the boxes. He'll play in a box for about forty five minutes, but wrapping right. paper not so much. I think they were more into eating the paper than tearing it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Teething right. time. Teething time. Uh-huh. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> now, what up, Mavericks. What about you, Joel? Yeah, he's one and a half years old. And uh, last Christmas, you know, he just sort of laid there. And we, ra- you know, we opened things around him. And I think he liked it. I think. But this year, it was like the first present came to him. We said, here, open this. And he didn't really sort of know what to do. Then we started wrapping doing that he's like it's okay i can do this and then he started tearing and then he got it from there on he was opening other people's presents you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> well ahead of his turn so he he locked it in but it was just the best christmas i mean christmas just ch- takes on a whole new perspective when you've got little ones with you mm-hmm. yeah that was a lot of fun uh but it's good to be back at it also and i'm sure uh you've got a full plate ahead of you for 2024 director um just initially what what are some uh, things on the radar here early in 2024 that we're going to be looking at uh, coming from the Ohio Department of Agriculture. Well, here at the beginning, uh, the real exciting thing that we're working on is the re-enrollment of H2 Ohio up in Northwest Ohio and those initial 14 counties. And uh, we did have an opportunity to extend that another month. So we're doing a a push just to make sure we get every single person that we possibly can engaged on that. It is truly the opportunity to tell that story of the great practices that we are doing and using in the ag community. Uh, for those folks that want to push back on the agricultural community and, and point fingers, this is our opportunity to, to show the numbers, to show the practices uh, when it comes to water quality here in the great state. So we're, we're excited about that. The numbers are very good, but we want to reach out and say, if you're not signed up, call your local soil water board, call down here to ODA. We will help you answer your questions, and we really want to get you enrolled and engaged. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to have that plus much more from the director coming up. But first, we need to get to some audio. Uh, Dale Minio talked with Tom Fontana and Jeannie Golgowski on Grow Next Gen. And look, taking a look at the history of that program, that program has done a huge amount for educating youth around the state about not only Ohio soybean production, but agriculture in general, including poultry uh, and other aspects of the industry. So really good uh, interview there with Tom Fontana and Jeannie with Dale. And Dusty uh, uh, Sonnenberg talked with Dale Arnold at Ohio Farm Bureau on an overview of the energy uh, uh, policies and so forth going on around the state. We've got a lot of debate about uh, continued oil and gas. We've got solar. We've got wind. Uh, There's always plenty of uh, room for discussion about the various uh, energy endeavors around the state. So uh, Dusty's got some audio with Dale Arnold. That's all coming up next in the podcast. And then we'll have much, much more with uh, ODA Director Ryan Baldridge. Thanks all for tuning into the Ohio Agnet podcast. And be sure to check out more with